We're beginning to understand the sentience of plants. They have the sensory perception that we have, and more, they can problem solve. They've been known to demonstrate memory. We're here at COP28 to talk about climate, talk about nature, talk about nature-based solutions. Emerging tech has potential with AI to understand more than human intelligence. One way of entering into this dialogue is to record fluctuations in electrical conductivity in the plants. We can create a soundscape that can be played to the plants, can be played to us. So the first thing is to work with technologies, with soundscapes, with music, with art, so that we can open ourselves up. It's more about humility, about compassion. And it's not just about being able to communicate with and, and connect with plants, but it's also with each other. We forget how intelligent nature is, and we forget how important it is. Today I am here for COP28, created an AI data sculpture. My purpose with my art is make art for anyone and try to find the language of humanity. And I think AI here is an incredible tool, can allow us to find language that hopefully speaks to everyone. The best language that we all know is nature, but for some reason, we are a little bit disconnected. I'm using AI and data. Imagine all the birds of Amazonia, all the trees and flora, fauna, fungi of the universe, and try to connect them to us. Nature doesn't have a seat at the table. What we need to do is find a way that we can actually listen. 